the heck are you doing, bro? <sighs> As you guys know, we like to start with three common mistakes. So first mistake, we're gonna jump into torso turning. And I believe the reason a lot of people do this is because they pick up weight that they actually can't handle. So you see a lot of guys in the gym who are just literally bent over and just swinging all the way around. And it's just absolutely insane because this is also gonna lead to potential injuries such as your shoulder, your back, and you're just not able to get the activation in your lats that you need to grow your back and to do this exercise properly. So stay away from doing this. Mistake number two is just simply not knowing how to do this properly. So when we're doing this, our goal is to fully stretch out the muscle of the lat, extend it as much as we can, get that tension on that negative, and then pull in all the way up. So as you can see here, I'm doing it with incorrect motion. I'm going into my chest, and I'm not able to fully contract the lat. I'm only kind of activating the top area and a ton of my bicep. So we want to minimize that and get as much of the lat as possible. The best way to do this, really stretch out, pull into that stomach, pull that elbow up nice and high. Don't pull too far to where you're twisting your torso, but you want to pull all the way in with control and squeeze your entire back from the bottom to the top, and you're going to work that full lat and get the most bang for buck out of this exercise. Number three is setup. I'm just quickly gonna let Kyle do a little montage of cringy setups that you don't want to do. Check this out. Looking like a spider monkey, bro. <laughs> So you can see, who knows what he's doing here. We all see this, this is brutal. This completely ruins exercise. Setup's really easy, and in fact, in my next uh, part of this video, we're gonna go over everything, A to Z of how to do this. So don't do any of these weird setups, pay attention to me now, and now we're gonna show you this exercise from start to finish. All right, without further ado, let's jump into this. This is something I'm really passionate about because a lot of people tend to mess this one up. But yes, it may seem very obvious and simple, and it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. As you can see from those three common mistakes, so let's just go over everything from start to finish. So first off, I like having my knee positioned either here or at the head. A quick little hack you can do is instead of rolling the dumbbell over or picking it up and over, you can literally just turn your person like this and do it from the other side. And that's how you can switch arms. So that's a huge little hack. The first thing I like to do is plant my knee, bring my foot out nice and wide. The wider I am, the more I can get my torso parallel with the ground. So if I'm here, you can see I can't really position myself downward. The bigger and wider stance I can get, the more centered I am. I like to plant my hands, some people like knuckles. Do whatever you like, I don't care. That's kind of preference. So here you can see I have a nice position and I'm able to really extend my arm nice and low without hitting the ground. If you're gonna hit the ground, you might wanna bring that leg in a little bit, squeeze your abs. Now, common mistake, like Kyle said, you're pulling into your chest like this. I can't contract my back here. This is my bicep, I think you can see. So the goal is, starting here, parallel to the ground, big stretch, into my stomach, squeeze, come down. We're avoiding this weird swing. We have control, we pull into our stomach, squeeze our back, control on that eccentric, big stretch. Stretch out your lap, come up, squeeze. Squeeze. Now if you're going heavy and you're doing power rows, it's okay if you don't control the eccentric as much. You still wanna be under control of the weight, but if you're bodybuilding, you might want a little bit of a slower eccentric rep, so on the way down. But if you're power building and you're just looking to really get the strength out of this exercise, you wanna come up with power, a little bit of control, power, a little bit of control, power, a little bit of control, etc. I know I'm repeating it, but it's really simple. So main things, pull into that stomach, stay parallel with the ground, don't twist, pull all the way up, big squeeze, stretch it out, and that's it. It's fairly simple, don't overcomplicate it. Ignore those mistakes, and you're gonna be on your way. Here are three cool variations to this exercise that you can use to grow your back. All right, guys, so hopefully you learned a lot, and as a bonus, we have three exercises that are variations of this dumbbell row. The first one is the cable row, and this is an absolute fantastic exercise. Keep in mind, guys, we have form videos for all of these, so we're not gonna leave you high and dry. You can watch those. First link in the description below is gonna be all of those form videos. So the cable row is fantastic because you're able to have constant tension, you're allowed to squeeze all the way back, control all the way forward, and you're allowed to build your back greatly from using this exercise, okay? Next up is the barbell row. This is fantastic, done safely. You're allowed to really overload, and this is just great for building on that solid mass. And last but not least, we've got the T-bar row, and this is great because you're kind of in that position where you can pull right up towards your stomach. You can overload the back, similar to the barbell row. So they all have their own benefits, but mixed into a proper routine, they're fantastic. So make sure to watch those form videos and give them a try. And thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the content, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.